Nice of you to drop in, Hyundai. Sheldon? Heck, where's my manners? Some of my boys got a little carried away with their lynching. Ah, so now we got that squared. You know how close I came to killing you? Look at him roast, Rico. Dripping with delicious fat. I got him just where I want him. Kinda like I had you. <laughs> where are you going with this, Sheldon? The sloth demon, baby. Come on, Rico. <laughs> that was me all along. <laughs> I was playing you like a marlin off the keys. <laughs> Sloth Demon. Tom Sheldon. An anagram. You and your stupid war games. Sweet Mary Lou! Government troops! Mind if I borrow this? Might come in handy. Seems I wasn't the only one looking for you. Yeah. That's another thing. Baby panties all over my ass. And my white tiger cover was waterproof. So somebody must have tipped them off that I'm here. Jade Tan? Nah, she's an agency asset. Couldn't you tell? And I thought she liked me for my personality. Then who? My money's on the suite. He's the only one who knew I worked the White Tiger angle. Carl Blaine. He did disappear. Not a trace. Oh, yeah? Hey, give me that PDA. Oh, heck, Rico. He offered to download some intel, huh? Oh. And he put a bug in it. Yep, he picked up a trick or two working for us, it seems. And then when the government caught him... He probably spilled his guts when they hid the booze. There. Now, if we have another barbecue, ain't gonna be no government gate crashers. Rico, my friend, I need you to do what you've been doing up until now. Keep that chaos building. Your gangster buddies are surely in deep with these unknown players. So you need to be in deep with them, too. Soon the whole thing will come crashing down, revealing who's behind this big mess. Me? I'm gonna square my deal with my White Tiger hirelings. Their job here is done. Glad to see you two have kissed and made up. Agency has all the dirty details now, buddy. So the heat is off. Right. And we have more pressing matters. Remember Jade Tan? How could I forget? Well, Blaine's ratted her out, too. She was lifted by the Panawan Secret Service while researching the presence of international intelligence on Panau. From what we know of this regime, they'll torture her without asking questions. We've got to find her. Fast. Those guys don't hold back on the torture. Mmm. Mmm. Look at this little bird. Sure have missed agency hardware. Rico, buddy, she's all yours. Hey, unless you two are bulletproof, I suggest a quick exit. Come on now. Thanks for showing up, guys. You sure saved my, uh, bacon. Yep. Worth every bullet. Thanks to you, we know who's pulling the crime syndicate strings. Right. There are three puppet masters all wanting to play on the Panal stage. The info's all on your PDA, Rico. Jade'll give you the brief. Good to hear. First, there's Alexander Mieko, formerly Soviet Secret Service. He's a trained killer with links to every mob working the new Russia. But whether he's rogue or a Moscow stooge, your guess is as good as mine. Oh my goodness. What we do know is that he's in deep with the roaches. Both share a taste in shiny suits and fat jewelry, I bet. Number two is the Chinese sadist Zhang Sun, a former military intelligence chief. 
Modern China likes to keep guys like Zhang hidden, but available. His Maoist talk of people power, an industrial revolution has got the Reapers eating out of his greasy palm. Nothing more dangerous than a crackpot ideologist. Except an ex-commie with gangster friends. Though I'm guessing you saved the best to last. Right, mister. This ex-general is certainly no saint. His name is Masao Washio. He was ejected from the Japanese army for torturing his own men. Washio's motto is said to be, pain is good, death is better. He is backed by a bunch of neocon industrialists and has hooked up with the tribal Ura boys. They sure must be impressed by this maniac. Man, a gang of worse psychos I never knew. That's for sure. But what has a little island like Panao got to offer them? They want baby Pane off the throne, and their marionette in his place. But why? We don't know. There must be some monster prize they're after. These are serious players. Right. And guess what, Rico? You're gonna smoke them out into the open. And you won't be using no hickory chips. Barbecued pig, anyone? Rico Rodriguez delivers. Don't tell me. You found a hickory chip supplier. We hit the jackpot, Sheldon. The Russian, Zhang Sun, and our Japanese ex-general. They're all holed up in the Three Kings Hotel. And the best bit is, not one of them has any idea the others are there too. The Three Kings, huh? I should have known. Hotel's got the best damn bar on Panau. And waitresses to match. All the better for me to check in then. Better book a twin, buddy. I'm coming too. There she is! The Three Kings! King can't be with us on this one. She'll be in conference with headquarters for a while, explaining what's been going on here. Sheldon, I didn't know you still had it in you. Rico, buddy, I'm as American as apple pie. And you know all real Americans hate commies. I die. But you are none so wiser. The world's eyes turn towards Panau. But you remain in the dark. Indeed, America is now a blind monster, fighting without knowing why. Get back here, Rico. I fixed you up a mean margarita. All three superpower heavies eliminated, and still time for a beautiful margarita. I'm betting whatever brought those boys Pan away is the same thing that's made baby Pan A tear up his contract with Uncle Sam. Figures. What now? It's time for the big squeeze, Rico. You need them factions thinking you're their brother, while you take them apart from the inside. More trouble there is, the more likely that baby's gonna show his hand. And that's when we break it off. Nice work, hand I. Cities are on fire, the gangs are running amok, every man and his dog is attacking government forces. And just like we hoped, that sniveling coward Pane has fled the city! And you got a lead on that little runt? All on your PDA, good buddy. Baby Panay's hiding place. Not for much longer. Won't be easy though, Rico. Once you've flown to the canyon entrance, you're gonna have to go in on the ground. The base and the palace are heavily fortified. My suggestion is that you call in one of your best faction buddies for support. I'll do that, my friend. Though I won't need any help cutting that dwarf down to size. <laughs> Just make sure you put baby to bed for good, Rico. Cause when you're done, 
It's time for a little of what we do best at the agency. It's time for a little regime change. Of course, now I remember. Barbecues aren't your only skill. Well, thank you, Rico. A man likes to be appreciated for more than his suckling pig. But choose your faction wisely. They're gonna be with you all the way to the end game. It's the devil's company, but I guess I'm used to it. You know, it would have been polite to let me in on some of the mission details. It's all on a need-to-know basis, buddy. You know that. Hmm. I should have killed you back in the jungle. And miss out on that suckling pig? You'd have been crazy. Now Panay's dead, we got the all, and I can get cooking again. Sorry, no time for pleasantries, boys. Country's up for grabs, and we got tankers from the superpowers all heading this way. Doggone! Guess the barbecue's gonna have to wait. No hard feelings, huh, kid? No, but just remember that when it's your ass on the line. Well, sure thing, Rico. Now, you just keep shooting and lady killing. Let me handle the espionage, and together, we'll secure this all for the good old U.S. of A. It's time to protect and survive, boys. Chinese, Japanese, and Rusky super tankers are headed here. All of them are looking to secure the oil for themselves. Uncle Sam sent backup out from every damn atoll in the South Pacific. I want you to patrol the area in the chopper and take care of any non-American dare stick his nose in. Rico, still ain't sure why you nuked the damned oil field. You lost your mind, buddy? The spoils of our little revolution. That fossil sludge would have started the mother of our wars. And you know something, Sheldon? I'm not gonna die in no apocalypse. Just so some fat cat in Washington can drive his SUV to the hill tomorrow. I don't think the agency's gonna be smiling. Do you have any idea how much that oil was worth? Sure. But it ain't worth dying over. Damn, Rico, that's as just a cause as any. I guess. Besides, who's gonna tell him? It's all on a need-to-know basis, right? That's right. I should know. But what happens to Panal? Well, since the oil's gone, all the others have lost interest. It's just us now. Panal gets a new US-friendly president, and we continue to monitor our special little part of Southeast Asia. Home of the best barbecues in the East Indies. Got that right. Here's to a brighter tomorrow. Cheers, everyone. To a, a brighter, brighter tomorrow. tomorrow. Salud.
something subtle. Here we go. Sheldon! Well, it is now a part of the conversation, Mario. I, I'm not. <laughs> I apologize, son. What happened? I, ah, ah, I see you ah, found the rebel ship. Well, you know, my pilot Crashy says we should all do our part. You know me, humanitarian of the year, ready. Right. <laughs> it's true. Why, just now I brokered a deal with the rebels. <laughs> you saved them. They helped me. I help you travel from place to place. <laughs> you, you are welcome, son. You are welcome. <laughs> I truly believe you want to create a stronger, more loving world. Cast red our new infrastructure, upon which lies the foundation of our progress. Why? Lead choice in your security. Thanks for coming by. Report the fraudulent, the traitors, and the gossipers. Chaos and destruction. You said Dima is being tracked. Where is she? Oh, she's motoring around, gathering intel she thinks is important to the rebel call. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, uh, something about the vehicles catching fire over a quarter track cone. Oh, now, uh, uh, them uh, military gunboats there? Hey, son, nice flying, perfect Thank you, three sir. pointer. Focus ship. Oh, right. Now, the military gunboats there, while well, they're speeding off trying to stop them. Stuck. <laughs> Don't worry, Rico. Everything's under control. Your pal Mario's with her. Mario. <sighs> you sit. <laughs> bon voyage. I must confess to being disappointed, Mr. Shell. Let's have a drink and talk this out, huh, Sebastiano? Mano a mano. I do not care for small talk, Mr. Shell. Twenty years ago, we made the deal, you and I. You are not holding your hand. That makes me disappointed. You and uh, Uncle Sam did make a deal. You and I. We have overlooked your treatment of the people of Medici, and we have overlooked your damage to Nadima El Masri, who was alone. And I have overlooked Rico Rodriguez. Do you remember our deal, Mr. Sheldon? I remember the deal, Spaziano. Do you? I am the ruler of Medici. You promised me an alliance with the United States, which was incinerated by the return of the boy I offered for you. A boy who rampages across the country, making me look like a fool to my people. And now, Sebastiano. Do you think I enjoy being made a fool to my people? It was you who showed them how to destroy my tanks! I have eyes across energy, even in that dark, dank, little cold! There is nothing. But my flames cannot touch you, Mr. Stein. Sheldon's supposed to be here. Hmm. Well, nice of you to drop by, hombre. Where's your hat? Uh, in a nutshell, Di Ravello knows where you are, and he's sending a big old army to kill you. Oh, I wonder how that happened. Tio. <laughs> She's a peach. It is a remarkable coincidence, Sheldon. Hey, it ain't like that, partner, and you know it. I came to warn you that Di Ravello's cleansing flame is a coming for you. <laughs> 
D Ravello's forces are going to be here soon. Take out that EMP and kill Dima. Always blame both sides, eh, Sheldon? Okay. You do with that information what you want. <laughs> I'll see you around, amigo. Sheldon. Well. I asked you to stop by, son. So you're finally ready to join the fight for Medici. Look, before we get down to business, there's something I need to say. I am a rotten, backstabbing old bastard. That's true. I double-crossed a lot of despots who thought I was their best goddamn friend. But in the end, Rico, there's only three people I trust. Myself, obviously, Uncle Sam, and you. Look, Buckaroo. I may not always be on the up-and-up, but I would never betray you. I know, it was Zeno. I knew it. I knew from the get-go that lily-livered little yellow belly was up to no good. You know, Sheldon, one day I'm going to ask you exactly how it was you and I met on the boat that night my parents died. And I bet I'm not going to like it. Uh, Dima! What are you doing here? Uh, Rosa said I was needed. Rosa? Told me where to go. How did she... Sheldon? Yes, Rico? Cozying up to the new leader of Medici already. Oh, come on, partner. You know you can't teach an old dog new tricks. What? Rosa Manuela is a champion of freedom. And freedom is my middle name. Now, what say we stop that bomb and save the world? Come on, buddy. Shake a leg. Like they're already here. Dima, these are the bombs. Sheldon, you fly the plane. I'll do the 